And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Fizz. We're going meme tier style with Teemo Fizz where we are going to be playing this top end of Mind Meld Smooth Soloist. That was the point of this deck to play three Smooth Soloist and a three Mind Meld. So Smooth Soloist, whenever we have the plunder turned on, can be reducing the cost of our allies in our hand and in our deck by two. So we're gonna be able to um, unload our hand faster. And, uh, and it's also going to be an elusive threat. So that's going to be important too. And so when it reduces the cost by two, then we have like zero mana Fizz, zero mana Teemo, you know, like zero mana Ballistic Bunt even, and then like your Chump Womp and your Zap Spray Fin would only cost two mana instead of four. Now with Mind Meld, we're going to want to play a bunch of spells. And so we can set the power and health um, for the number of spells we've played this game for all of our allies whenever we play that card. And uh, so we're gonna want elusives. Um, that's kind of number number one. And then number two, we wanna play a lot of spells. And that's what these cards do. Sprayfin draws a spell. Chumpwump draws two spells. Ballistic Bot creates a spell every single turn. And then we have just a bunch of other spells. And of course, Fizz wants us to play spells and everything too. Um, so that's, that's kind of our deck. It's just like play a bunch of spells, have like elusive threats, and then, you know, maybe we play like eight spells and we make our elusives 8-8. Eight, eight. Maybe we have like two elusives in play, make them both 8-8s, eight, eight, finish off the game with that. Um, suit up's going to be pretty good at protecting both of our champions, Fizz and Teemo. But even suit up on like a Ballistic Bot or a Puffcat Peddler can help save those things. Or even a, a Zaps Braven could be pretty good there too. Got some salvage for some card draw, good removal, and a bunch of ways to give them Puff Caps with the Puff Cap Peddler. Whew. All right, so that's our deck, Teemo Fizz. We're going to go play our five games in normal. What's up, War Bandit? Riven Vi. Let's start our prediction. There it is. You can predict whether we're going to win or lose. We're going to go ahead and mulligan the Mind Meld because we don't need it immediately. Were they costing seven? I love both of the four mana cards, but they are both four mana cards. So we'll keep one of them. We'll keep the Chump Wump um, against Riven and Vi. I think the Chump Wump maybe matches up better. How, like, Riven, for example, is a 3-4. So we'll keep the Chump Wump being the 4-3. So good Rune Weaver for them. Traded mana wise two for two, and also created um, a blade fragment. Yeah, good opening hand for them. Humanity is obsolete. Okay, so they probably should have attacked with the Riven right away, but they did not, so they gave me this opportunity to play the Chump Womp as a good blocker. Ooh, Warband just finished an amazing steak and cheese sandwich. Awesome. All right, I, and then I'll try to help out with that. Now you're going to be learning about Runeterra. Cool. Ooh, Teemo. So I, can, I can't have a leveled up Teemo and then strike them with a leveled up Teemo this turn. Let's get another bot in play for our Ignition. And remember, these Mushroom Clouds are created cards, so they will... Uh, buff up our Ballistic Bots. I'm not sure if I should play Teemo this turn or not. If I play Teemo and Double Mushroom Cloud this turn, you know, we can level up Teemo after Teemo strikes. I'm going to try it out. Uh, that was the, the problem, though. I am the future. 
I would have waited. I could have had suit up to protect Teemo. I guess I should have waited. But I already had like other good things to be doing the other turns, but yeah, maybe I should have just waited. This is kind of cool though, Ballistic Bot with Mind Meld. It's pretty easy to play a whole lot of spells whenever you have Ballistic Bot. And it's also easy to turn on the plunder from Smooth Soloist. No turning back now. System upgrade. It's not easy to stop a really big ribbon though. Can you improve perfection? There is surrender and there is life. I will live. Evolve or die. Yeah, it's a very scary ribbon. So ordinary. Prime and ready. My Gotta go with the flow. Cool. Warning shot. That turns on plunder. And that's also another spell for my meld. Witness perfection, meat bags. I don't have, no matter what I would do, I don't have the ability to play Sprayfin first and then Mind Meld afterwards. Next turn. Let's just do that, give them a better chance of drawing those Puff Caps. Is there an 11? So that's seven. We can make it eight. So make that an eight eight. And have them at ten, but I'm two damage short of killing them. So I guess I if I play smooth soloist, then I don't get to suit up. I could go spray fin plus suit up, that's six attack. So I kinda have to kill them this turn, but I don't think I can. What if I... Okay, so what happens if I go Mind Meld? We go Warning Shot, Mind Meld. That's 9 total damage. And they're at 11, so they would have to draw 2 Puff Caps. Yeah, un unfortunately with with this Blade and Riven, I just don't know if I'll have an additional attack. Um, Alright, I'm going to go this route. I forgot to update the Deckless Command. I know my purpose. All right, Deckles command updated. I wish I had one more mana I could suit up this thing also. Maybe I shouldn't have played that other... Of course, I, I didn't know I was going to be drawing a two-mana suit up, but if I didn't play like that other Mushroom Cloud, would have killed them if I didn't play that other Mushroom Cloud. So I need them to draw three Puff Caps. They don't mean mask, secure me tail, start to die. Draw three Puff Caps. Zero. Ooh, Aftershock. No, don't go straight to combat. Play the sword. Oh, they already played the sword. Play more swords. Don't go straight to combat. Fly to them on broken wings. I don't like this. Why are you here? You can't do this. Down to two. No, weapon hilt. That's too bad. Almost had him. All I had to do was get a priority. That's too bad. Good open attack by them. And yeah, Riven wins games fast. 
So close. Whoa, we got a Teemo Fizz mirror match. We got a mirror match. So Ignition works great with Puffcat Peddler. I think I can just kind of ship the Fizz back. We don't really seem to be um, needing the Fizz. Oh man, now I want to play Teemo and attack with Teemo. Yeah, we're going to do that. With having the attack token turn one. Oh, that's right. I don't like this. Humanity is obsolete. I'll be quick. Good attack. Good attack with the T2. I was certainly hoping they did not attack with the T2. But it's a good attack. They should def you know, like they, def they definitely should. It was the correct move. Have a mushroom. Have three. I heard about you. I know I could go Mystic Shot on the Cutthroat and hit him with Teemo. Like, I could have done that, plus the Ignition. But I think it's just the stronger play to get the Peddler into play. And now I... Now I'm going to be playing the suit up while it costs two mana. I'm still not blocking though. I'm not gonna let a, a get excited or a gotcha or an aftershock kill my Teemo. Can you improve perfection? Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. We have six. No, we gotta we gotta lead with the parlay. Because if they if they keep their thing alive for some reason, then then I have to have Mystic Shot to back it up. Where do you stand on? Ooh, that's a risky pool shark. Safety disengage. And this is this is risky going Hexcore Foundry and Pool Shark against my peddlers. That is very risky. <laughs> yeah, these ballistic bots, they they are they sure are talkative. Ooh, they have more puff caps than I do. They got 36, I have 9. And they drew one total. Two total, I drew one. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty good for us. Um. Wait, why am I playing that? The only way I lose is like drawing too many cards. I was thinking I was going to be looking for more burn spells. That's like the only way I lose is drawing, drawing more cards. So I'll have 52, I play Warning Shot. Should be 58. Alright, so I'll have 58 puff caps going into the Sex Core Foundry and they give up! There we go. Never underestimate the power of the scouts code. We out puff caps the puff cap deck. <laughs> Ooh, overwhelm. But I just have like little yordles. We don't need overwhelm. Overwhelm not cool. 
I don't think I'll have time for the salvage. We're gonna put that in the mind meld back. The parlay is good in this matchup because they have like the little one mana, one health things. Prediction started. Get your channel points in. Will I win? Win or lose? With this hand. No, the pre-made decks in the shop are not worth it. No. You think that the Chump Wump should be a mulligan? I just like how Chump Wump makes so many of our other... Like, they make our other cards so much better. It makes our, our other cards so much better. With the Mushroom Clouds and... It kind of gave me a floor with not keeping anything else. But I can understand that... Um, preference to get rid of it. Alright, gonna turn the Ballistic Bot into a 2-3. Troll Chain, of course, is just the worst. If they have it, it's the worst. Hopefully not. And of course they have it. Well, that's just the worst. Yeah, just the worst. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. So obviously I can hit them with Fizz this turn. The winter's claw strikes. Gosh, they just have all these things that don't die to parlay, too. I think I probably need to just play Fizz as a blocker, honestly. Disgusting. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. I really hope they don't have another troll chant. This already looks uh, very grim for us. But waiting gives them more opportunity to draw troll chant. I think I cast this right now. Praying. Okay. We have a small shot. Very, very, very small shot. There was a little fella asking for me. But we have a small shot. What? They could have just done that and saved their... They could have just saved their Darius and I was dead. Very, very, very small shot. Yeah, that, that troll chant that they had, yeah, the, the troll chant was the, the card. That ended this game. Surrender to the melody. Really? You're gonna wave whenever you just had lethal last turn if you would have just played Death Sand? My pretty. You're gonna wave like you did something good?
<laughs> they know my only card in hand. It's it's not a it's not a, a hidden card. Sure. Yeah, you're you're too good for me, Carlos. Too good. This feels bad. Yeah, you're not wrong there, War Bandit. You're not wrong. So Tarek Riven. That's a cool combination. I like our opponent's deck. We're going to mulligan this thing, we're going to mulligan this thing, and we will keep the bot and shot. We'll keep the old bot and shot. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. I'll become who I was always meant to be. Well, this is a good, you know, good opening hand with bot and double peddler if we have time to get that all going. Um, we could do the suit up. When will I could, find uh, peace? Hmm. Let me at him. We could suit this up. I won't stop now. Oh, right. That's three six. No. Yeah, I don't know who that is either, Riven. Just some squire. Finally, peace. There they go. All right, that's why I didn't cast the ignition the last turn, so we had that extra mana, so we could play the peddler and the, the fizz. Another Riven. Where, where? I see purple. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Hmm. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Another ribbon's a little rough. I'm never gonna play you, Ignition. Down to eleven. That could honestly be a problem next turn. I guess I should play the chump lump first. I have the salvage they can protect. Uh, fizz. So they'll go down to ten. Whatever the journey brings, I will. Give them much more puff caps. Twenty five in total. Hey, Atimo. If we don't die this turn, I like our chances of winning. If they don't just, like, you know, go all Hulk mode on this Riven and suit it up and make it big and overwhelm and kill me. Her light is our sword, her warmth, our armor. Uh, that's not great either. I would like those warning shots, actually. I've always been a fun guy. Ooh, I like that fizz. High time! Ooh, quite a collection! Another day in the field. Actually, it's probably Ignition is the card to play this turn. 
Nah, mind meld this n mind meld next turn. Alright, so I went with the I went with the salvage right away, hoping to find like another mystic shot or like something like that, like I could block the lifesteal and then like mystic shot my own thing to keep to kill it so they don't heal their nexus. But that didn't work out. Excuse you! I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Would a mushroom help? Down to five. Probably can't kill me from five. Just doing this right now while we have the second peddler in play. Oh no! They can't kill me from five. Uh well, if we just didn't lose this turn, like I said, like, we were going to win if we didn't lose this turn, even with them going to 20. Didn't matter. We'll get them next time. Okay, and then our last one is going to be against Fiora, which I don't really have good removal for, your, for Fiora. No Hush, no Frostbite. Yeah, this is not good. I just, I just want to sit back and have, like, Ballistic Bots and Peddlers in play, and that's what Fiora feasts on, so... That doesn't seem like a good combination. Let's go with the puff cap cards. And maybe look for more puff cap cards. Yeah, we were gonna mind meld our opponent that last game. It was gonna be sweet. Well, that's good deck building. That's why you put suit up in your deck, so you can draw it on turn two. Armed and ready. Had a plan the whole time. By my honor, you must die. <laughs> why do they have to why do they have to draw Fiora? Cool. That doesn't kill my Teemo. We'll take that. Pass turn. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Yeah, probably just pass. Yeah. I can't I can't just pass it in the turn. It goes back to them. They did play a burst spell. So if I pass, it does go back to them. I would love to pass normally. Okay. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. Ooh, quite a collection. So that levels up Timo. Like, I wonder if I'm supposed to be playing Sprayfin. Probably should. What's up, Tomcat? What I'm worried about, or like, you know, like they, they probably have to have a Frostbite spell. Keep up, keep up. They could have Sharp Sight, which would be the worst possible scenario. So it levels up Fiora, so my parlay's not gonna kill it anymore. <laughs> Two down. Ahead. But now it's really it's hardly unlikely that they can have sharp sight and keep and keep Fiora alive at this point. And then 
yeah, we're just going to be going after the life total. We got five direct damage right now. They have 34 puff caps. So even though their Fiora can't take damage or die... If we don't play another unit, they can't kill the other... Right, they, they, they could kill Teemo, but that would be the only unit they could kill. Let them eat souls. Sure. So I'm not even going to play, like, Ballistic Bot and give them the opportunity to have, like, multiple single combats or something. Okay. Teemo greater than Fiora. And Teemo Fizz with the win. So Teemo and Puff Caps are just really fun to play. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to do too much cool stuff with, like, Mind Meld and Smooth Soloist. We did play against a lot of aggro decks, right? Like, a lot of decks where the games ended pretty quickly with this one. Um, yeah, 40 minutes for the five games. So, like, we just didn't have time to set this up. There's a couple of those games, like, if we just could have had an additional turn, if Riven didn't, you know, be all big and overwhelmy and, and kill us fast enough, like, it just killed us too fast, like, if we could have just had an additional turn, the Mind Meld could have helped... And could have been really cool. Suit up was awesome with having two one mana champions. Um, have been impressed with suit up in that respect. Um, and then yeah, you know you, you kind of sit back to your ballistic bot, puff cap peddler, chump bump thing. That's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Yeah, like there, there's a lot of good stuff going on in this deck. Um, but you know, Riven attacks for a lot of damage very quickly. That's kind of a a. Um, and then just like the Overwhelm deck, right? Like the one that wasn't wasn't Riven was still like the Overwhelm with all of those uh, big Overwhelm units, like the the two mana three one Overwhelms, and then the cheap Yetis and Darius and that kind of stuff. Like those those kind of decks are going to be too difficult for us, right? Like I don't have any ways to kill big things, and that's okay. You shouldn't play against those too much, but we did play against two Riven, you know, three of those Noxus Overwhelm decks, and those are our three losses. All right, but there we go. That's Teemo Fizz. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments about the deck. Let me know what you think of it. I thought this one was pretty good. I think we had one hole of the Noxus Overwhelm units that are really big. And unfortunately, we played against those three times out of five games. But besides that, I liked how our deck looked. I, I liked Warning Shot and Parlay and Cheap Spells for Fizz and Cheap Spells for Peddler and, and Ballistic Bot and all that. I thought our deck looked pretty good. And uh, we, we almost... Took down a couple of those ribbon decks, but they uh, were a little too fast for us. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got here for Teemo Fizz. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.